Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. We have Nimesh here with us today who got into Trade Markia as a summer intern and he is here to share his interview experience with us. So he got into Trade Markia as a part of his campus placements at VIT and let's look at the eligibility criteria before we go and talk to him. So all BTEC students were eligible provided they had a 60% or 6 CGPA in 10th, 12th as well as the pursuing degree and in undergraduation if the applicant is in his post-graduation and also no standing arrears. So now let's talk to Nimish. Hi Nimish, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your internship. Thank you so much. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, well, uh, first of all, thank you so much for having me here. Well, I'm Nimish Kaishya. Uh, I am a web development as well as a DevOps enthusiast. Uh, I'm from Assam and I have completed my third year in computer science and engineering with uh, a specialization in artificial intelligence and robotics uh, uh, at VIT Chennai. And uh, I'm also an advocate for uh, open source collaboration contribution and all of this. And I have recently uh, secured a summer, summer internship offer at uh, Trademarkia as a goal and backend developer uh, through campus placement, of course. And yeah, so that's uh, a short intro about me. Okay. That's great. Thank you so much for that. Uh, you cannot tell us about the hiring process, like how many rounds were there and... Yeah, sure. So basically, yeah, before we start, one thing to note that uh, actually this um, this inter uh, this process was not uh, based on uh, data structures and algorithms. It was completely based on development rounds. Okay. So yeah, uh, so basically, it all started with the first mail from our placement office uh, regarding the offer details and all, uh, where we got uh, all the stipend amounts as well as the eligibility criteria and all. And then the, obviously, uh, one Google form was circulated where we have to, we have to upload our resumes. My resume was uh, completely focused on development as well as DevOps, so that's why I got uh, shortlisted for the first round, which was the uh, task round. Uh, Task round. Well, uh, for the, the summer internship role was open for a total of six to do, uh, six role. One was an NextJS, Golang, .NET, uh, Quality Assurance. One was, uh, I'm not sure, what, I guess it was HubSpot or something. Okay. And last one was uh, UI UX design. And I, I have uh, applied for Golang development. So, uh, yeah. And then after the first in the short listing, um, we were given a take a home task where uh, we were uh, required to, you know, implement a project, a, 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 a small project where uh, we were asked to uh, implement an API uh, as well as, you know, some post database stuff. Uh, yeah. And also dockerizing the service as well as deployment. Uh, so I did it. Uh, I did it uh, fairly easily, and uh, it was a 24-hour task. So yeah, so I have uh, completed all, on time and also uh, as well as documented everything. So yeah, and then based on my implementation details, I was um, selected for the next round, which was the technical interview round. Okay. Where the, in the first uh, first, I was uh, you know t uh, ask around uh, 10 to 15 questions in a rapid fire mode uh, okay. about the general. Uh, you know, uh, facts about uh, development database and the fundamentals of uh, engineering uh, and computer science. And then, uh, then after that, in, in uh, the, the 25 minutes or to 20 minutes, I was asked to uh, implement a Golang API on the spot, uh, along with all the connection details of uh, all the connection of uh, Postgres through Docker. And uh, I did that uh, and and then I got the shortlisted for the last round, which was the HR round. In the HR round, they didn't ask me about uh, any kind of typical, you know, HR questions like uh, tell me uh, you know, about some behavioral sounds. They, they actually asked me about uh, my availability as well as my background uh, in which uh, uh, background as well as my mode of working like uh, yeah. So, uh, as I am from Assam, uh, I chose to go with remote because uh, of the accommodation and the commute reasons. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And then the results were published uh, after uh, two days, I guess. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, and and we got the, uh, I got the opportunity. Okay. So that's, that's, about it. that's really great. Thank you for sharing your experience and congratulations again. Thank you so much. Do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into a good internships with juniors? 
Yeah, sure. Basically, uh, in campus placements, what happens is there are two types of companies in in CSE department, of, of course, where, where one actually uh, asks for DSA and one is completely based on uh, development and skill based tasks. So basically, uh, uh, the first uh, suggestion would be not to skip DSA just because uh, you know development uh, questions were you know so some companies do uh, focus more on development side but in big tech companies uh, DSA is a must have so basically don't skip DSA and keep practicing them and then uh, for if 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 someone is looking for uh, you know development role in startups basically then uh, Proficiency in one language is obviously required. Uh, I was perfect, yeah, so, and my um, my language, my go-to language was TypeScript before that, oh. before GoLang. But uh, one should be flexible enough to you know move to another language quickly and not stuck with only one language because you know basically programming language doesn't matter. Only matters is your skills and you know development proficiencies and your software engineering skills. So basically, yeah. And then, um, I would say, you know, have have, have a uh, good understanding of the big fundamentals like, you know, web technologies like uh, REST APIs, Go, uh, GRPC, GraphQL APIs and all. Mm -hmm. And as well as the, uh, you know, fundamentals uh, like networking. Networking is a very important thing in, you know, computer science uh, and OS and DBMS. Yeah. And also currently in DevOps space, uh, CI, CD, you know, having a good knowledge in CI, CD, uh, Docker, Kubernetes, Linux, all those stuff are really beneficial and it will really help you get a job okay. in current situations. Yeah. And I would also say at last, like, you know, be active in communities and uh, be active in Twitter so that, uh, you know, you are, you get the credibility and uh, get focus on it. Uh, yeah. That's great. Thank you again for your sharing your experience and for the suggestions. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much.